What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do another cast draft here because that's what they voted for on Twitch. So you guys can... If you guys are watching on YouTube, you can go to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can thank these monsters for choosing Chaos Draft. Heavy lies the crown, the sword. Is that what it says? Is that was that the quote? The head weighs heavy. The, was that the quote? I, I feel like it was it was better than that. I don't actually know. I don't remember the exact quote, but boy, it was a good one. <laughs> we get another video intro. No, like <laughs> this should be good. I think we're good. I think we can stay at three eight, and hopefully this will fill. I have a good feeling about it. The one thing I don't like about soy milk and uh, this light, like a little AMSMR stream. The one thing I don't like about uh, soy milk with hot chocolate is that a lot of times the um, the hot chocolate doesn't it doesn't what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't mix in all the way. It doesn't evaporate, disintegrate. What's the word? Not evaporate. Um, dissipate. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Five out of eight. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. It's okay. We've only been... Dissolve? Yeah, I guess dissolve could work. Emulsify? Sure. Coagulate? Wow, you guys have all come up with different words. This is amazing. I was going to tell you guys a time challenge joke, but no one got, no one got it. But no one got it. It's from... The, I get it. Parts the gate. <laughs> oh, honestly, the stirring does sound nice. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have some... You guys get your ASMR tingles in. Yesterday I had a little accident on the way home. I thought I could make the one-hour drive from work back home without needing the bathroom. I was wrong. Can you recommend me somewhere to get new undergarments? Yeah, if you guys can't make your uh, your your afternoon or or morning commutes without uh, soiling your undergarments, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns on some of those comfortable, comfortable micromodal underwear you'll find. And uh, it's great. You can keep a spare in your car in case you do to yourself. And, uh, you know then uh, you'll never be in trouble again. All right, what is this? Dragons of Atarka? Dragons of Fate? F Dragon Fate? F reforged? Cons of Tarkir? Dragons of Tarkir? I don't know the names of any of these sets anymore. <sighs> Will they not stain if I dump myself? If you dump yourself, they might still stain. I can't I can't make any claims against uh, the... the <laughs> the likelihood that they will stain if you dump yourself but um you know man like i can only help you so much <sighs> whenever your creature flying enters the battlefield it gains haste whenever a dragon enters the battlefield it does like damage directs the number of dragons you control come on dude yeah this card seems fine it's a three five for five that like it's it, it's a lure you force things to block it I mean, you have to have eight power on the board, but 
whatever. I don't want to look at the rest of those cards that are all like... I don't care about them. That's all I'm saying. I don't care. God, these rares are terrible. <laughs> Pirate's Cutlass was good. Get that free equip. New Horizons might be the pick, though. We already have a lurking Erynx. I miss Tarkington. What is Tarkington? <laughs> what is Tarkington? Is that... <laughs> What even, Morgan? I remember back in the day when Frank would rub, rub undies on his face. Too famous to stick with what got him famous. <laughs> Sad, really. Yeah, you know, those were the, those were my early days. It's It's been a long road since then, I think, but... Um, It is only free in one twenty-four. Are there twenty-four different sets in the chaos draft? How do you know mind. that? Oh, Herman Miller here. Did you just mess up your chair because you couldn't be bothered to stop playing video games for a bathroom break? New Herman Miller disposable chairs. Just throw it out and grab another. Still expensive, nerds. <laughs> That's good. Herman Miller, thank you so much for uh, for watching the stream regularly and for chiming in. Really appreciate it. You are the hero that the stream needs. God, this set was. This set was so bad. World Wake was such a bad set. I mean, the World Wake, this set was good, but like for drafting, the Zendikar block was just not fun for me. Now we got like allies, and then like, see, this is the one thing I don't like about Chaos Draft. I'm not complaining because we're gonna have, we're gonna have a good time. My problem is that like there are so many like isolated mechanics that that are like they don't play well with any of the other sets. So you're like, oh cool, I'll take this guy, and he will literally just be a three three. And maybe you'll get one other ally and it's a 4-4. Four, four. Herman Miller, thanks for the run of the dollar. Really breaking the Herman Miller bank. <laughs> I mean, I took it because it was a green card and like there's nothing else. Like these, it's so hard to evaluate because you're like, tap and untap vampire. Will I get any more? I don't know. Maybe. I like gather the townsfolk. Could we be like a, a white green tokens deck? Is that an option? Fran Tarkington was the leader of the Minnesota Vikings clan on Tarkir. That sounds about right. There are eight players and three sets. It's math. <laughs> okay. Okay, Morgan, listen. I'm not a math major. I'm an English major. Okay? They gave me a degree in English, not in math. Science is cool and all, but... Whatever that means. Oh, Volcanic Island? We hit the money, boys. Except for it's not real money at all. And it's not in our colors. And I don't hate Emissary. You're a major, major pain in my butt. God, am I? Am I? Hmm. Hmm. Am I? I do like Aberration. I like it probably better than Sultai Emissary, but... Sometimes I am glad you don't live in the U.S. too, because it's a it's a hot mess, ladies and gentlemen. He said got him, so I guess <laughs> I guess that's true. I'm a Latin major, but what I saved Latin. I wrote a hit play. What did you ever do? Draw a card if you control the creature with the greatest power. I think that that's probably pretty good for us. That just makes me... Whenever someone talks about Latin, I just think of Rushmore. Sick Transit Gloria. Glory fades. I'm Max Fisher. One play enjoyed by all, Buck. What does that mean? Oh, how deep are we going? How deep are we going? We're not. We're not getting. 
<laughs> We're not taking Chromat. Uh, Kavu Howler. When Kavu Howler is the battlefield, reveal the top four cards in your line. Put all Kavu cards reveal this way in your hand. <sighs> this pack is actual terrible. This pack is hot. I'm, ju I'm just going to take this because... Wow, it's so bad. Oh man, I love Rushmore, and I I like to think I'm not a huge douche, so that's sad. That's so sad. Such a good movie. That's a Wes Anderson. Never creature in his battlefield under your control again. Life equals toughness. I hate this less than I should. I really should dislike this a lot because it's pretty bad, but. This is just... Huh. I'm going to take this Torch Song because it's literally just burning Shrine of Burning Rage, right? You put a verse counter on it, you sack it, it heals X damage to any target where X is the number of verse counters on it? Sure. Maybe we're not white. So 3-3 three, three for 4. You dash it for 3. Nope. How can you ever die if you just gain more life? I agree with you. Look, man, I hear you. Can we play Unclaimed Territory and name Illusion? That seems like a good strategy, right? Oh, my God. This deck is not looking nearly as good as our deck yesterday. Hey, create two white, white alleys. Actually, that's not terrible. All right. Well. No, you took Chroma. You give the people what they want. Appreciate it. I also like the, that you put an H in there, like the like the traditional spelling of Chrome. That's nice. Chromat has no such H, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You would have to actually put your spider on a leash. Oh, Kindle came back? And the Soltari Emissary? I'm just going to take the Kindle. What is this? Lair Delve? I don't know what this does. Real two cards in your library. Put all creature and lands real this way into your hand. and then a re Actually, that's probably like a draw two unlimited, but... A 1-1. One, one. If you control a white creature, it gets plus one, plus one. Shut if up, you control... You gonna wear a shirt for a hat yet? I don't care either way, still. <laughs> you know, the funniest part about that message was just the way it's worded. You gonna wear a shirt for a hat yet? I don't care either way, still. Okay, well, that's, that's good. That's good. I didn't, well, see, the intent was not to call you out. It was just to, it was, it was, a, it was a teaching moment. You know, there was no judgment. No judgment present whatsoever. Oh, deals one damage to attacking or blocking spirit. Wow, that's that's fantastic. Lee bad. <laughs> I just made myself laugh. Add a green until you're until the end of the turn you don't lose mana as steps and phases end. This is actually just fine. God, Hokori is so miserable, dude. I think it's just Sakura Tribe Spring Caller. It's, none of these cards are any good. Whatever, I'm taking the Snake, man. Yeah, that set has no synergies with anything. Hey, it's another 3-3. We can just have mono 3-3s three in our deck. And then they're going to have one 4-3, and we're going to be like, this sucks. Where are all the good cards? Like we, I feel like we're not like passing anything great. I feel like it's just this three drop. Narco Miva. All right. Well, 
I like a direct current, but I don't really want a double red card. Hmm. I like Skyline Scout. Call of the Culprit's fine. Generous Stray could be decent. Wild Saratok is probably like our first four power creature other than Elvish Aberration. <sighs> yeah, Ludev Champion's actually probably pretty good here. Yeah, our deck yesterday was insane. Today, no bueno. <clears throat> that is smooth. Oh, Croconara. Croconara. What does this guy do? Can block any number of creatures. When it enters, when it blocks, it gets plus one for each creature it's blocking. Skullcrack. That's a classic. I kind of like the 1-3 reach with Evolve. Yeah, Evolve's pretty solid. I can see this dude evolving at least twice. Yeah, I can see it taking this guy. I mean, 3-3 three, three Flyer is also pretty good. I mean, we already have a new Horizons, guys. I'll just take 3-3 three, three Flyer. Shut up and take oh, Wicker Battle Elder. That's pretty nice. One shirt for a hat buck. You don't carry the way still, though. Skull crack more like butt crack. Is it though? Is it more like butt crack? I'm gonna take this wicker bow elder. This is a nice effect to have in a in a wacky chaos draft and a crazy chaos draft. The problem is like you literally have no idea what's coming. You're like I could take this in case we open this, and like you just literally have no idea. Should update the stream title. Wow, that seems like a sure. Shut up and take my money. What just happened? One hat as shirt bug. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we updated it. Gruel turf. That's actually not terrible. We can splash these. This card is actually great for us. I like this a lot. I guess that guy's not coming. He was going to come to pick up a thing I was selling, but... No one got my Jurassic Park reference? I would get all Jurassic Park references. I just didn't see your post. I didn't even see your comment. Where is it? Oh, I do that all the time. I've actually done that on stream. I was like, eventually we're going to have a... Uh, and then, you know, whatever the whatever the topic may be. Naya Hushblade seems good. Shut up and take my money. Shirt for a hat? More like hurt for a sh <laughs> Why? Why are you like this? Oh my god. Instead of we got Cloven casting, I got totally distracted. Dang it, Badger. Dang it. Dang you for donating a significant amount of money and distracting me with your generosity. Whatever. It's just like Emerald Charm. It's not good. Oh, dang it. Dang it. DC Sports 8. What a long time no see, buddy. What if War of the Spark has mono planeswalkers for mythics? You mean like only like only mythic creatures, the only mythic cards in the set are planeswalkers? And there's like 17 planeswalkers? That would be pretty insane. None of these cards are any good. Can you explain to me? I mean, it's a 2-5 five for 5. Whatever, it's fine. It's not great. It's 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 serviceable, as they say. 
I'll just take the combat trick here. Eh, righteous blow. We can just take color the culprit. That's fine. Gains double strike, huh? I don't foresee. Man, I'm so sad about this cloven casting. We could have such a superior two drop. Thank God we have another pack left. Plus one, plus one, and death touch, not unlikely. All right, I'm just going to highlight it now so I actually do take it. It gets... Oh, it's just a lure. That's actually not terrible. Oh, Tin Street Hooligan's fine. The secret is none of the cards are good in cast drop. Uh, this is sometimes true, actually. Look, here comes the uh, the Alara Reborn pack. The, the last card was the Swamp, so unfortunately... More like hurt for a shat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it is. It's more like that, I guess. Oh, Trinisphere. Solid rare. Solid rare. Uh, Frank Karsten Derm. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, remove one one counter. This is actually probably pretty good. This guy probably is great outside of... Outside of Mirrodin. You put this guy on another plane and he just really shines. Yeah, I'm taking the Karstoderm here. The Frank Karstoderm. I don't think we need a splash for Warbringer. I think we're just red-white. Or green-white, rather. Yeah, Morningstar is pretty good. We can probably get... I, we'll see if it comes back. I don't know. 5-5 five, five is probably just... I like 5-5 five, five better. Especially because we have Triumph and Ferocity where we want to... Knight of the Reliquary? Can we make our Chromat dreams come true? Seems ambitious. Seems ambitious. I don't think there's a better card in this pack for us. Especially we can just sack lands each turn. It ramps us once every turn. Gets bigger as we go. Hunt Pride's pretty good. I mean, you attack and then you tap and then give it I, I think I just like night better because I feel like we have a lot of expensive stuff already Anok Bondkin is nice Hunt the Week's probably where we want to be um, we don't have that much removal yeah we're just taking the bone saw or the Hunt the Week rather I don't think Hunt would wheel that seems crazy there are not that many good cards in that pack Phantasm what are you saying right now I don't even remember what the wait what pack was that was that like mm, magic 20 anniversary thing I have no idea I think I just blacked out a little bit oh my stream is behind that was from a couple packs ago okay sounds good iconic masters there you go I totally forgot what set that was from I like Edge of Autumn. Hmm. Bound in Silence seems pretty great, though. I'm going to probably take this removal spell. Yeah, we're going to take the Bound in Silence. This is also a Rebel enchantment, just in case you guys didn't know. Is it worth splashing these two off of, like, a Gruul and a, and a Knight of the Reliquary? And a New Horizons? Probably. We can also put one mountain in here just for the heck of it. Probably not playing Gift of the Deity. Oh, let's not Huntmaster is great, but I don't think we have any elves. <laughs> I think we're at zero elves right now. I'll just take Llanowar Elf, actually. Also, double Avon Rift Watcher is pretty hilarious. Yeah, Lana Ralph seems good. Is there anything else we don't care about? All our other cards are playable. Thank you. Intruder Alarm. 
Frank, this sub baby is coming in five months and it's yours. I'll trust you'll do the right thing and make an honorable chat mic of me. We're working on it. We're getting there. Wow, this pack is actual terrible. The blue red here is real. I guess we'll just take healing solve. Also, there's a lesser Gargadon, which we just mentioned yesterday. So here's a 2-1 with first strike for three, and here's a 2-2 two -two with haste for three. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Desp destroy Oh, butcher Butcher's Cleaver. I think we do have some humans. Ledev Champion is a human. That's a human. Do these this make humans? Oh yeah, we're definitely taking Butcher's Cleaver. Like, even if they don't get the lifelink, the plus three plus O is still pretty huge. Yeah, Ledev is elf, sure. But Knight of the Reliquary is human. So we have human. Uh, this makes humans. This guy's a human. This makes white ally soldier tokens with no race. Oh, foil Joda, huh? Okay. Sarah Disciple don't care. Oh, God, I really hated this card in, in... In Dominaria. Well, not if we play it first, right? Then the joke's on you. Thunderstaff actually doesn't seem terrible. Oh, the Nakatal Hunt Pride came back. Yep, that's pretty gas. Do we actually have an Assault Formation deck? 2 5, 3 5, 4 5, 2 4. I'm going to take this because it might be salvageable with like other creatures that we picked up. Didn't we have another creature on the sideboard that was pretty big butt? You know, it was a it was a thing. Either way, this is 25 cards. We already need some cuts, so. That was the hunt I meant. Oh, this oh the cattle hunt pride. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think we have any X higher than than Y. I don't think we have any power higher than toughness creatures. I think all our creatures are either equal or... Oh, the 1-3 the here, too. Interesting. I could see cutting the red cards, but it's just... I mean, like, having the removal that we don't actually have that much access to is pretty strong. And, like, Torch Song is literally just burning... Shrine of Burning Rage, which seems really good. Yeah, this card seems terrible. And the collar? There's a oh, collar the culprit, sure. Mm. Take the storm card. I mean, I just don't feel like we have a reason to cut these because we do have uh, New Horizons. Wow, one of the Avon Rich. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you're making the cut Avon Rift Watcher, but. You know what? I'll take this planes and someone else can have a core allele. Good for good for them. Yeah, I just think the reach that Torch Song offers is pretty strong. Plus, if we splash red, we get the uh, target creature can't block ability on the Cattle Hunt Pride. So I don't think with a Gruel Turf and a and a Knight of the Reliquary and a New Horizon, like I don't think it's really that much of a cost to splash. I'm pretty sure this is the deck. I would have loved to have that two drop that we passed over, but I think we could do with one red, right? One, two, three. That's four red sources as far as I can tell. Yeah, four red sources for two red cards I think is fine. 
Um, probably just 9, 10, 11, 5. And eh, we can actually go down to 6 here. We don't actually have any white lands. It might just be 7. This is actually 7, 8, 9. 7. Because we have no white lands here, so... We don't have a ton of white cards, though. Well, we do have two one... Well, I don't know if we want to... We probably do want to play Gather Townsfolk on turn one. Yeah, this is fine. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's because most of the rares are are not great in sets, and you're like, oh, this isn't a construct quality rare. But here we are. Should I play this white border planes? Too late now, but we'll switch it next time. Thank you. Check two with the resub. U plus MTGO makes me warm fuzzy. I accept that. I accept. I like it. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. All right, we're having a good time. We're probably just going to play this guy and then we have so many good 3 drops. All 3 of these are good. 3-3 three, three for 3. That's just solid. That's just good value. <laughs> I am O2 with a deck of mangled trash pants. Chaos indeed. And I'm like, oh, so just a regular cast draft deck. Got it. I'm going to play these guys now because they're just better with Ledev Champion. I'm not going to wait till I have four or less life. That's just, or five or less life. That's just, that's just silly. I packed one picker and Emical and did not get there, believe it or not. At the beginning of your upkeep, if enchanting creatures control that player, that player sacrifices that unless they play two. Oh, I'm just going to sacrifice that. That guy is just dead. He did. Oh, and this goes back to your hand? Well, that is oppressive, my friend. I didn't see that portion. So we play this, we have to pay two. We can't do anything else next turn. I think we play knight, because then if we play two, we play a land, we have two up, and then we can sack one of the lands to just play another three drop. Yeah, that seems better. A shark to crab? Well, I'll be. I will be. All right, so we're going to play Ledev Champion here. Sacrifice a forest. We've got a mountain. Now we'll just play this guy. Shark to crab. Oof. I'm O2 with my deck. It's terrible. Here's a shark to crab and a slow motion. Okay, well... 
That seems better than you're letting on, my friend. No attacks, huh? Okay. No attacks and no spells. So we can actually make a guy, which might be better than just playing a 3-3 here. I think we can just pass. Could have attacked there. Totally forgot. I forgot it had float. I was really distracted by it. sweep away, return to that creature is attacking. If I'm top of okay, so make a guy. I gotta add a white mana. Mm, sorry, buddy. You gotta add a white mana to do that. Yeah, I had a feeling that a counter spell. But they know we have it, so they're not gonna counter our generic 3 3 in order to. You're gonna counter this too? Oh, you're gonna shark two crab. That should be fine. Yeah, we can easily just make a bunch of 1-1s one -ones here. Block forever, theoretically. We tap or untap, draw a card, sure. So that guy just gets tapped. So here's the thing, we're just gonna tap this guy. So I'd rather just save five and gain one. Yep, there's a lot of lands. Slow motion on that guy, sure. This is nice because we have seven mana. So we can easily pay for it and... This guy just flips, right? Yeah, I'll just take this. I have no idea what it is, so I'm actually pretty reluctant to... Slow motion doesn't take me back. It brings me right here to where I am. Turn the grave from the battlefield, return it to its owner's hand. God, that's so brutal. One, two, three, four. We'll have three mana. I might just be able to play this guy. One, so we're going to play two for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. a lot of damage. Let's make sure we didn't play land this turn. Storm count one. Good to know. They have one card in hand, which is pretty okay. What 
What is this? A 3-3. Three, three. When it's turned face up, target creature gains trample until the turn. Sure. All right. Well, we would have double blocked, and they would have... That's nice, because now we know we can block with the Tribe Elder. Or the Tribe Spring. Tribe the Spring Caller. Okay. Well, we don't know what these cards are called, but that's fine. Words are hard. Okay, so yours resolves first. I'm just going to use this because we have another red in hand. Uh, pay two, yes. Okay. Get a freebie. Pretty okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so. This guy should probably be a 6-6, six, six, right? Just to make it so they can't, well, that just taps all of our things. So one, two, three, there's a four, four. Probably wanna make sure it's a five, five. And then they got a block here, so. That's actually fine. One more? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we're doing okay. All done. Ch Hot chocolate is gone. Man, the deck seemed great. But I don't know, something just wasn't right. Like, the other cards seemed good. Collar seems good. Elder seems okay. Like, if we sacrifice this to get rid of slow motion, they just replay it, right? So... Maybe that's still fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. My bad. My bad. There we go. Oh, God. Hideous planes incoming. I'll take out the cleaver. It's expensive. Oh god. Oh, where's my where's my green sources at? Nowhere? Okay, sounds good. Oh, here we go. We're on the draw. Let's see if the top cards will land, my dudes. <laughs> Sometimes you just know how to you just know how to draw them them for us. Seems good. Keeps Gruel Turf hand. Finds a land. We have a good time. If you're not risking it for the biscuit, then what are you what are you even doing with your life? Oh, that guy is real strong. I am not a fan of that gentleman. Um okay, so I'm actually gonna keep the new horizons here. Let's play Triumph here. Oh, we could play Torch Song too. We have a lot of options, is really what it comes down to. Oh yeah, this was not a guild gate. This is a bounce land, which is why I kept it. If it was just a one land guild gate hand, I probably wouldn't have kept it because uh, any one land gives us three land here with a guild gate or with a with a bounce land. So yeah, we're just gonna play all these things. Hopefully that resolves too. I mean, missing one turn for reverse counter is not really a big. It was just it's fine. It's not really a huge concern. I would have actually cycled this for a forest but it doesn't let us play anything this turn so i'd much rather just play a, a card that does something if we hit another land we can go new horizons into search oh that guy's very big wow i 
Uh, always yes. I don't have any reason not to do that. Okay. Okay. Well, that helps. Dear God. <laughs> Casual 9-9. That's a yikes for me, dog. Jesus. <laughs> We're just gonna... Yep, no blocks. Oh my god. Collar off the top one time. Bound? I will also take a bound. Bound in... If they have counterspell in hand, it's pretty bad. That ain't gonna do it. He doesn't have trample, though. So I guess that's a... To consideration. Oh, God. Keeping up gift doesn't do anything. If they if they monstrous, it's a nine nine. If we gift this guy, it's an eight eight. It's pretty bad. Oh, I guess we could trade because uh, because of the New Horizons, but. God, that seems bad. I kind of just want to pass here, but I think we got to attack. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> so we're done. Yep, that'll do. Watch, we're going to draw a collar. No, okay, so... Yeah, that's fine. Like, that that card's impossible to deal with. Wow, we have Bound, we have Collar. We have a couple answers to that guy. I'm gonna keep this. We got the combo. It's a bunch of four drops. But their deck doesn't seem that quick. Yikes. Look at this that white border planes, boys. Got him. If we can draw land land, I'll be totally fine with whatever whatever's happening here. When an opponent casts an enchantment spell, if hidden ancients, that's never going to happen. Did I even show? Oh, I did. I showed one. The torch. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we did it. Oh, did we ever do it? Oh yeah, this hand is pretty unbeatable, I would say. <laughs> wow, that's... Boy, isn't that a statement. Hands unbeatable, can't lose. Oh, you have an Azorius Signet. Come on. Oh, how convenient. How convenient. It's okay, I gotta hunt the week. We're gonna hunt the week this. Joke's on you. Karstoderm doesn't take it. <laughs> Sick amore. That's a solid meme. <clears throat> this guy can only be a 4-4, four four, so you can double block. You can block here, discard your last two, and shoot it.
I mean, is that what you want to do? Okay, fine. What up, Jelly Filled Donut? Do 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 donuts. So we know we're going to draw next turn, so I'd rather just have the Great Pelt Hunter out. <clears throat> we know we're going to draw you, dude. You, boy. Will you choose haste or a counter? That's a good question. Whenever you riot, it's important to know what mode you're choosing. Is that Final Fantasy 19? No, 9, right? That's 9. Oh my god, this is just getting rude. You're just being rude. Okay, that's fine. Overgrowth, okay. Valid Shell Dweller number dose, okay. Oh, why didn't I attack with this guy? I don't know, suddenly I forgot that I could do that, I guess. All right, well, I have no cards in hand. This is a bold strategy. Like, it's a lot of lands. I think we're doing it here. I'm just going to pass like this, assume they're going to discard their last card, and then we're going to join them ranks. Always yes and always yield. I'm never going to say no to this plus one, plus one ability. I mean, these guys are not going to stick around long, thanks to the Prodigal Sorcerer. But this might have been, might have been, might as well have been uh, four mana plus two plus two two plus one plus one counters and prevent two damage. <laughs> oh man synergy and chaos no one expects it that's pretty gas all right that went pretty well. Let's edit the deck to make sure we don't have this. Make sure we get this white border planes in here.
Dragon Scale Boon from Cons of Tark here. Is that plus is that two plus one plus one counters in front? There can't be that many Dragon Scale Boons. Uh yeah, that's plus two plus two. Yeah, two plus one plus one counters. Also, but prevents two damage as well because they're gonna ping the two one ones instead of our face, so. Yeah, this hand seems good. I uploaded the universe as a simulation supercut. Can you? Oh my god, are you serious? How is that even possible? There's so many instances of that happening. No way. I can't wait to see that. That sounds amazing. Yes, if you guys are subscribed, definitely check out the Discord channel. All you have to do is connect your Discord and your other, uh, your Discord and your Twitch accounts. Always yes and always yield. <clears throat> Actually should have played that guy first and then attacked with the Ledev Champion for four. That's probably the better play. That's a significant amount more damage. No blocks. Oh my god. That's actually insane. We're doing it first so we can actually pump this guy. That is 10 damage. That is a good amount. This guy flips into what, a 3 3 that can't be blocked? Sure, that's fine. I'll take 5 here. And we also have Gift of Strength. Fascinating. Pretty sure we just attack with all, right? Like, if we plus these guys, like, it just doesn't do anything. If they get rid of this, they still have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they actually have to do a lot here. They have to have multiple things. Untap each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay, <clears throat> you got it, dude. So you're taking one, two, three. Yeah, we're just going to gift here. Yeah, we trade. I still feel like we're in okay shape. Search so library for a creature of the six or less, put it on top of your library or put it in your hand. Put it in your hand, sure. So they block here, they take three. Brutal. Man, <clears throat> Unity of Purpose is actually pretty sick. Uh, 
Well, if we attack with everything, they go block, block here, block here. They take two. Although I do want to make it a 4-4 four four because I don't want to <clears throat> trade with a Slipstream Serpent and a Fierce Empath. Oh. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, getting a morph with... Yeah, then you're like, I'll get a three drop instead, actually. Josh Terrell, thanks so much for seven months in a row, man. Really appreciate it. Only two more months left. Sub baby, what shall we name it? Everyone asks me what we should name our sub baby, and I actually don't... I don't know. Crack the clue. You're trying not to die. I can understand that. That doesn't seem like it's going to do it. If you have a counter spell, you can counter this, whereas we can just make another guy. <clears throat> three three seems good sure so you go to one here all right well you can attack and then flip this guy but i doubt that's gonna do it if you have become immense oh okay yeah, it's just game slipstream serpent steven <laughs> It's a good one. It's a solid meme. As long as a creature do combat damage, do you prevent one of that damage? Like that seems good, doesn't it? Plus, you you can pump your attacking creatures. Is this should this just be in the deck? Is this just better than Cleaver? Just having it on board seems really strong. Uh, maybe it's wrong to not play Thunderstaff. Like, if they have one ones, like, it's just really strong. Like, just the fact that it does both of those things really well. Well, this hand is not where we want to be. Look at this one white bordered land taunting us. Yeah, all right. Bottom. Not ideal, but reasonable. Maybe not even reasonable. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what this hand is. Okay, I'm a fan. Carl Pilkington does travel the world. That is true. Oh, fashionable lead to the party, I see. I'm just going to bound this guy. This is going to deal a lot of damage. I guess we could have just played this, taken three, and played 4-4, four, four, but 5-5. Five, five. But... I'm okay with getting rid of a 3-3. They also have a lot of tricks, so. And Tuco, oh, that's that's nice. How nice. Um, It's okay because it's not the destroy an artifact or an enchantment one, so I'm okay with that. It's just the draw a card one, which is good. 
Next time we can play Knight and Skyblade Legion. God, are you still talking about Carl the Planeswalker? This is very strange. Oh, they mind controlled our guy. That's super cool. I'm feeling good about that. Oh boy. This is awkward. It's going to take eight here. Wicker Ball Elder off the top. One time. It's not it. Actually not even close to it. So we're going to get Memorial off the top. They also have five cards in hand still. That's pretty good. really support this guy untap it and put a counter on it or untap put prowess put a counter on it and prowess it whatever i said you guys know what i'm saying right now they're gonna abuse the prowess trigger and mutagenic growth That is not a Wicker Bow Elder. So we can go one, two, three, activate. We wouldn't have enough to do anything. But if it's not a Wicker Bow Elder, like I don't want them to know about it is the problem. Yeah, I think we just risk it. Wow, that's just a like a 2-2 a flying looter. That's insane. All right, so we take... Yeah, all right. Well, we tried. <clears throat> I wonder if we would have hit a Wicker Bow Elder. Look at the top five. One, two, two, three, four, five. Oh, it was right there. That's frustrating. Okay, well. Is there anything else we have? Probably want Call of the Culprit. If they just insist on stealing our biggest guys. Destroy target non-aura enchantment. Well, that's pretty useless. I mean, we didn't really see any big creatures, though. We saw the 4-2, and that was it. Like, 4-2, we can't even target. So unless they steal one of our big guys, Collar doesn't seem super useful, but... Whatever. I will play first. I'm a big fan of playing first. I'm also a big fan of turn 3 Karstoderms. Thank you. Kundane, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Turn 2-3-3 three, three is nice. 
perfect. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Nine power on board, ladies and gentlemen, on turn three. Seems good. Don't care about that guy. I'm actually tempted to just hunt the weak this guy and attack you for a million, but I think we can just keep putting guys on the board. Seems good. Three, four, five. So actually, if we put it on here and attack, they can't actually block profitably. So we're just going to do that. Whereas if we fight like here, this is going to have three damage on it. It's going to be a four, four, and they can just block here. So it's a two for two. Whereas like killing this guy makes this a six, six, and they can't even block anything really. But they still have to block here, so... Mutagenic growth. That's a thing, but they're at three. It's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, everyone has issued random packs. Three random packs in Chaos Draft. I think we're doing I think we're doing it. Did you guys hear about us doing it? We just won. We're 2 0 right now. Are we gonna hit a land so we can cast our lurking arrow? Yes, we were. Seems good. I'm going to actually take out the cleaver for the thunder staff. Not the same packs in a pot? I actually have no idea. That I do not know. League matchmaking failed. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's try it again. All right, we're doing it. Jesus. Dang it with these one planes hands. Come on. We can do better. Ah, uh, surprisingly better. Oh, wow. It just got so much better. I do like a turn two ledge. Obi-Wan, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Turn to Ledev Champion seems okay. Man, Karstaderm has been OP. This is nice because we can go uh, this guy next turn, bounce one of the lands. That card is cute. Let's 
So this guy's going to be a 3-4 when he attacks, right? 3-4 three, for 3. It's very good. It seems really good. Thank you. 3-2 is obnoxious. BSP, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> so we can play Guardian. Block here. They, they make it block, so we can double block. Uh, for each creature, it's blocking. So it would be a 5-5, five, five, so we can deal 4 and 2. That doesn't really sound great. We could also just tap it to... Uh, oh, this untaps a creature, doesn't it? Oh, that guy's really obnoxious. They can just eat off our guys. That's really sad. Yeah, let's we'll just play you. I don't really want to tap this though. So I think we're just attacking with this. BSP, happy belated Valentine's Day to you too, buddy. Oh, Jesus. That's a thing, all right. Oh, we have this guy. That's actually very good. I was afraid they were going to be able to equip that this turn, but it is, it is, it is seems and not. Yeah, that card's a beating. That's where they fight these two. 100% fighting. They changed their mind. Well, you're just going to eat a guy, I guess. Oh. All right. I'm okay with it. That is actually a reasonable trade. I am okay with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't see any reason not to pass. If they want to try to equip this, they can. E yes, that is fine. They know what this guy does, right? Like, even if we get to kill this and... All right, sure. Oh, now I'm going to... Now I'm going to get rid of it. So, one, two, three. One, two to activate. So, we're going to play both of these. And we're definitely playing Torch Song here.
And we're probably also playing Thunderstaff. I don't feel like having this guy get double blocked, so there's no real point in <clears throat> attacking with it. So next turn we're dealing three, four, five, six in the air, and we can activate Torch Song to kill them. It's actually <laughs> Xaxes. Uh, always yes, always yield. Say attacking creatures get plus one, plus one. Sure. So you want to activate that after? Yeah, let's see attackers. Remember when magic wasn't a propaganda vehicle? What does that even mean? Okay, yeah, that'll do. What are you talking about? <laughs> God, do people wake up this crazy? They just wake up and they're like, I'm going to be absolutely loony today. It seems like it. Add another red. We'll add this Tintrude Hooligan to deal with that. Um, what do you call it? Armadillo Cloak. I forgot what that card's actually called. Um, Behemoth Sledge, sure. Just gonna submit here. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Why am I the bigot? I don't understand what that is. It made any sense. Like, you literally just strung a bunch of nonsense together. I'm gonna make as little sense as I can. That's how I get off. If I string enough intelligent words together, I'll I'll also pass for intelligent. All right, man, you got it. You know what? I'll keep this hand. It's a little slow, but... Oof, man. Yeah, alright, that's fine. A white source would be great here. I would also... Oh my god, this Thriving Rhino every game. That's not a white source. We don't have a stomping ground. <laughs> so that's not going to be great. I might just actually... I might just cycle this anyway. Matthew, are you alright, buddy? Good to see you, friendo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even later. Even later. Yeah, I want to guarantee cast this Karstoderm or this Sakura Tr Spring Spring Collar. Sure. I think banning fate, banning X phase just for best of one is also silly. I think they should ban it for all the things or none of the things. I think it's a really confusing. How convenient you played an artifact last turn. <laughs> Well, I feel like we're a little too far, because if we draw a red, we can only play one thing. If we draw a white, we can only play one thing. So it's a weird, awkward position we're in right now. We're like, we need two different colors to start playing, like, 
two drop, three drop, or three drop, two drop, or, you know, etc., etc. Well, my guy is still bigger, but this card is kind of obnoxious. Tin Street Hole is going to be nice, but we don't have a red for it, so. Yeah, still don't have any. I think it's just two, four over three, three. Three, three does very little against one, two, three, four, five. They're going to have six mana so they can pump two things. Yeah, that's bad. I might go visit a horse in a little bit. Do that. Do that. This is Chaos Draft, Matthew Ori. Okay, so you can pump twice. So we're probably just blocking this guy. With all the things. Then you're going to have to tap out. Or you can just kill this guy with one pumper, you know? Sure. I don't know if we saw that. Okay. All right, now we're talking. New Horizons on this guy. One, two, three. Now we are having a talk. That was actually a great draw. So we have one, two, three, four mana though, so we can't do two things. We can only do one thing. That is sad. I'm pretty sure we just have to kill this or kill this. Did we see any morph creatures? I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna put this in here and then we're gonna go search. Find morph. Cannot find morph. Let's try going up. Okay, so we have not seen any morphs. Don't save. Hmm. I feel like this is probably the better choice. We can go one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana next turn, so we can play two things, which is nice. I mean, if they had mutagenic growth, it sucks. But they probably would have saved this guy last turn. Luma Thread Field. That card's terrible. I should have just left it. That's good to know, though. Well, we're not blocking because they're going to just pay four. I actually have seven mana because of this guy. I'll just take three, and I'm sure you're going to play something bigger. Oh, if you're just pumping this turn, that's pretty good. We also have Tin Street Hooligan and Wicker Bow Elder to deal with the deal with this guy. Grizzled Leo Tau is fine. Okay. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go three, three, three. Nope, can't do that. We can play the dev champion make a guy. I kinda wanna get this torch song on the board. And probably just activate. Actually, we can keep up the... <clears throat> this seems fine. Double blocking here seems okay. Because they can pump it twice, right? One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Making it a five, six. Which means we would be able to kill it. And it can kill it would just trade here for six mana. That's pretty okay. 
I mean, if they have pump pump and mutagenic growth, then we're still like trading just secure tribe spring collar, whatever for mutagenic growth, which is not great, but still fine. And they still have to pump at least one, so it's still three mana, but anyway. Yep, now we're going to just do it. See what happens. They have two cards. Seems okay for us. All right, <clears throat> let the blowouts commence. They kill the 3-3. I guess they're just not pumping. Trading 3-3 for 3-5 here seems very good. Oh, wow, this is great. That was really good. That is a big dude. Always yes and always yield to that. So add white. Play this guy. And then we're going to keep up mana for just whatever. Not None of these guys having trample is pretty strong for us. We just get to sit on a torch song for the rest of our lives. Like, we have a lot of inevitability with both Torch Song and Dev Champion here, which is nice. And if for some reason we don't need to activate Ladev Champion, we could always Memorial to Unity. We can also do that next turn, right? Five, and then one, two, three to activate. That seems good. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can pump this three, making it a four, seven, which means we can still block with our Tribe Spring Caller, Tribe Spring Mix. Seems good. Doesn't have trample, perfect. They have one card, I don't think they have anything great. Wow, 9 a.m. Badger? Jeez, time zones are crazy, dude. Badger, enjoy your Saturday, man. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, as always. Much love, buddy. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Wow. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, you have no cards in hand, though? Sure. The problem is this is only creature. I guess we can actually still cast join the ranks, so. No, we can't. It's Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We're good. Oh, Tin Street Hooligan seems fantastic here. Let's do that. Yep. I can I can do it too, my dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that nothing on our deck costs more than six. So I'm just gonna tap this. We're gonna block with the Lanaware Elf. 
and then take one. Yeah, I don't feel like going to five here. Oh, we also have a seventh mana here anyway, so I'm not really super concerned with it. One, two, three, four, five. That guy's big. Oh, overpaid. Like a nerd. Two, three, fives. Block a four, six quite well. So what does this guy do? Target creature blocks it if able. Seems good. That's also quite good. Uh, I kind of just want to have this guy on board in case they just drop Sledge Behemoth or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Kind of a stalemate, but I think it won't be after a certain point. Once we can start making more guys with Ledev Champion, one, two, three, four, five. Like if we draw a two drop, we can play it and then make a guy. Dan Omac, what's going on, my dude? <sighs> Must be nice. Seems good. That's annoying. Yep, mulligan. Keep. And I actually like this hand a lot. That guy will also keep. So we can go forest and gruel turf next turn, which is great. And then we can go Harrier Naga. We actually should be able to draw some cards off this. I don't think they're going to be able to contest this that easily, especially with... Uh, Three, three of their own. No, morph guy. Okay. I don't want to attack here because if they have mutagenic growth, it's really bad for us. So we're actually going to hold back. 
Next time we can play Elvish Aberration, or we can uh, cycle to get a land if we need to. Well, in my face, I guess. And we do, of course. <laughs> Felt really good about this hand up until the point where I did not. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> I'll take two. Card is good. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that was good times. Always yield to that and uh, rarely... Oh, that's actually not terrible. I mean, it's terrible if they actually do end up having the... the mutagenic growth that we're trying to play around here, so... A white would be nice because then we can play in the cattle hunt pride next turn. God, this card is unbelievably good. Wow. This is really aggressive. I have absolutely no idea what you have here, but oh God, it's gonna be blowout city. Yeah, this is bad. It's impossible to play around things in this format because they could just literally have anything in the history of magic. You have no idea what packs they opened. You have no idea what the cards they drafted. So you're kind of just like, I sound tired. I'm not really tired. Veterans reflexes. It's one one on tap. It sure. Two tricks. Congratulations. Wow, I really like this hand too. This hand was very good up until the point where they had it all. Yep, and now we have literal nothing to do here. <laughs> just limit thread field again. Man. Man. I mean, if they just keep playing guys, we just can't do anything. Like, we're just so far behind right now. Yep, that's pretty unbeatable for us. Sure. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get free shipping and 15% off. Uh, so definitely check that out. It's a great way to support the stream. So is heading to Twitch and subscribing. If you guys have an Amazon Prime sub, you can use that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.